Welcome to video 163 in series 3, and now I'll write the NPC turn off animator script. Okay, so I'm going to write a new script. It's going to be part of it. So part of what this is about is uh, when the NPC dies, then there are certain scripts that need to turn off certain, um, uh, I guess, like the animator needs to turn off the state pattern script needs to ter turn off the nav mesh. Uh, agent needs to turn off. So I'm going to write a couple of scripts over the uh, next couple of videos to handle all that sort of stuff. So first of all, uh, let's just make a new script. And I'm going to call it NPC underscore turn off animator. And later on, I'll write the uh, take damage script and uh, the collision detection script. But anyway, open this up. Alright, so first of all, two variables. They are private NPC master and private animator my animator i will not need the uh, start and update methods so i'll just get rid of them inside of set initial references i have npc master is equal to get component npc master and then after that if get component animator is not equal to null then my animator is equal to get component animator Okay, so after that, then I'll write a method for turning off the animator. So it's void turn off animator. If my animator is not equal to null, then my animator dot enabled is equal to false. Okay, so inside of on enable, I have, I call the set initial references method, and then a subscription to the event npc master dot event npc die plus equal turn off animator. And then of course the corresponding unsubscribe in on disable. So that's npc master dot event npc die minus equal turn off animator. And that's it. So very simple script. It just finds the animator component, uh, has a reference to it. And when this event comes on, when it's called, uh, then the animator will be switched off. And that's all. So then the ragdoll can take over. All right, so uh, that's it. Let's jump to uh, Unity and attach it onto the enemy golem. So there we go, NPC, turn off animator, and uh, just apply that. And no, we can't see it in action at all. It'll be a little while from now until we've written all the other scripts, and we can actually damage the golem without generating errors. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.